Good morning, I'm Dr. Matthew Nyatich. I'm a general practitioner with 20 years experience in uh, various capacities, both as a clinician, an administrator, and a manager of schemes themselves. Uh, I'm passionate about uh, managed healthcare systems which uh, are going to deliver quality, affordable healthcare services to all Kenyans. Uh, this ties in nicely with what we are trying to do at Ponea Healthcare, where we actually are putting the patient at the center of healthcare. All too often, it has become very difficult to navigate the new healthcare okay system because of the complexity of the systems that are in place. Uh, we've created an e-commerce platform which is going to actually make it easy for customers to access healthcare. In particular, we'd like you to have services that are tailored to your own particular needs rather than the way around where you actually had to tell yourself to your provider. So the main topic for today is actually to demystify cancers and make it presentable to everyone of us so that we can understand the causes, the risks themselves, and what you can do about cancer. Because we, all, all too often, for many people, cancer is a death sentence. We're going to show you that it is not the case, that you can actually manage cancer, and most importantly, you can prevent cancer themselves. So, first question, what is a cancer? Very many of us have got our own preconceived ideas of what a cancer is. A cancer is actually an abnormal growth of tissues that are growing uncontrollably within your body itself. It serves no purpose in the body. In fact, if you could attribute a purpose to cancer, then one would say cancers are there to maim and to kill. This is as opposed to tumors. Tumors may be a collections of tissues which are not necessarily abnormal. For example, you could have a fatty growth inside your body. That could be a pot like I've got over here. Yeah, it could be scar tissue that has actually formed at a site that you had pierced in your body. For example, your ears. Very many of us actually do get keloids themselves. These are not cancers, but they are tumors, they are new growths in your body. One may even argue that a baby, a pregnancy, which is a new growth, is a tumor. But in this case, a pregnancy serves a purpose, and that is reproduction. So that is not a cancer on its own right. Yeah. So it's important for us to understand these terminologies that we are using and we are banding around, especially in social media and in our own groups when you're talking about cancers in general. Now, there are different types of cancers and there are different causes of cancer. In the majority of cases, we actually do not know what is the cause of cancer. Only about 20% of cancers have a cause that we are aware of. The vast majority, we don't know, but there are various risk factors. Now, what are these causes of cancer themselves? I shall discuss this by looking at the different types of cancer that we actually have a cause for. For example, cancer of the cervix, the cause is actually an infection, and this is a virus itself the human papilloma virus, which usually infects people when they are still very young, during their reproductive age group, and it manifests much later in life. We've got cancers of the glands, like Bucket's lymphoma, which has been attributed to malaria itself. We've got cancer of the liver, the commonest cancer in the world, and this has been attributed to the presence of hepatitis C virus itself. Now, these are the commonest cancers that we're going to encounter, but the rest outside there, we do not know. So the commonest things that we have tended to see for as a cause of cancer are infectious agents. And some of these, as we are going to discuss, have got a preventable means and have got a curative means on their own self. Thank you for joining us for this session. Uh, I'm Dr. Matthew Nyetich. We look forward to having you on our next session when we are going to be discussing any other health needs that you might have. If today you wish to discuss more about cancer or the needs that surround it, or you have any particular health needs, do feel free to reach us on ponea.com. Asante.